Hello, welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe, and this is how you build a rail yard in Workers and Resources. First things first, plan for a lot of space. If you're thinking space, double that space. I think this is about as much as the longest train is. It's not exactly like this, but I think the trains can do now 18 cars and some cars are really long some trains are really long so give yourself room that's the main thing then um, i will use the signals that we're going to place here that's the mixed signals where a chain will be used to get into a junction and the regular signal to go into the border note that you can activate the cheat mode and probably turn or build a rail connection that leaves this if you can make everything one way, that will be more efficient than using junctions, but you can't always do one ways. So you can use this for any junction you have in the game. Okay, so we have the first piece set up. Let's build the next piece. I will take the outside rail. And I wasn't kidding when I said we need a lot of room for the trains that we're going to have. I will set this up. Um, I have an idea of what we want to do. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to happen, but give me a minute. Okay, here we are. This is our rail yard. It is humongous. There is a waypoint just at the beginning of this intersection, but you can expand this however you want. I just have two lines coming in that can split out to 12 other lines, and those 12 other lines uh, split in together into one line and then there's some crossovers that let you get to any of the three rails in the export. This is the longest train, or one of the longer trains that you can buy. It has max cars, um, which I think is 22. No, that's not right. But that's the longest one I can buy, and it fits, and that's all we want. Let's signal it up now. Um, again, we have these as our regular signals set up as we said before. To leave, a, um, to leave a junction, which this whole thing is a junction, use a regular signal. To enter a junction, use a chain signal, always. I will simply use chain signals. I wanted to use it on there, but. Nope, I'm not allowed to use it right on that point, which is a little annoying, but chain signals all around to get into the junction in front of us, and now everything is blocked off. So this green area is our junction. You can put another chain signal before you join the rest of the group. This may speed you up a little bit, but this is as far as you can go. Um, yeah, so that's that part, and then we can place another chain signal right in front of this split and another chain signal right in front of this split. So when someone passes, um, this is where you will get to go. I wouldn't place anything here. You can put another chain signal or two there, but I really wouldn't just place regular signals to get released from where you came from. And I will place these. I hope you don't have OCD because I couldn't place that where I wanted it. Uh, we'll place those and then here we just place some regular signals just to allow a few more trains in this queue. And that's all we have. This is our waiting line. Every blue line right now is one. I think there's enough space to split them in two approximately there. Let's go across. Ah, oh, this game is not making it easy on me. Just place it where I want it, please. Almost, really close. That one, just ignore that one. Okay. Put one there, split it up here. And now we can buy trains. I'll buy a bunch of trains. And when I am back, I will show you how it runs. So, quick update. I am more than half full and now every train is just kind of crawling and nobody's really moving this one's moving a little bit 
But they're all trying to start and have this little sig uh, sign on top of it, the electric, just electricity sign. This is because the network is overloaded. Here's our station, and you can see, whoop, 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 it's just doing funky things. That happens just because there's not enough power right now coming to the network. Add another line, and this should be more constant or continuous. There we go, everything's running. I'll keep doing this until we're full. And that is our rail yard. There's about 27 uh, trains on here, I believe. And everything really is working. If you set up the signals, chain signal to get into a junction, regular signal to get out of a junction, everything will work just fine. Just make sure that your shortest piece off the track is at least as long as your longest train. These are the longest trains I could build. They have 19 wagons on them and one train. They're lining up here. Uh, too long, which is perfect. And they're just splitting out here, just however they need to split out as. And everything is working. So, set it up like this. Let me know if you liked it. Um, let me know if there's something else you want me to test or to show you guys. I uh, would love to do that. But for now, that's all I have. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Bye!